Four Sixes Ranch, an AQHA all-time leading breeder of winners and earnings presents Second fastest qualifier, day two, apolitical blood. Juan Alleman has trained apolitical blood throughout his brief career, but he knew the colt well before that. He was, was never a big horse. He was small, he was a small horse, but he was always athletic in the pasture. Uh, they had him in there with another three uh, yearlings, and, and he was always very athletic and, uh, you know, very muscular, just uh, not too big. But big enough to qualify for the grade one Ed Burke Million but he ran an unfocused fifth in the finals, prompting a potentially fateful decision. You know, after the Ed Burke, uh, we're uh, deciding whether to gild this horse or not. Um, and uh, I talked it over with the owner and we said, let's just give him one more shot as a stud colt and let's go to the All-American. If he doesn't do well there, we'll come back, gild him and get him ready for the two million, the Los Al two million. So, uh, you know, maybe he heard us talking. <laughs> maybe that's why he ran like something was chasing him. There, running. Stumbling a little at the start, a political blood, but still came away fast, along with Corona Ruler to his inside. Followed up by fast copycat, then pinch hitter into the extreme outside, Misonador. And it is a political blood overcoming that uh, poor start. And a political blood is going to walk away with this race. A political blood from fast copycat, Misonador, and a pinch hitter. The son of champion apolitical Jess is owned by Rancho Al Cabresto and was bred by Bruce and Jill Thompson. The Colts' effort was especially strong, considering his stumble at the break. When he stumbled coming out of the gate, uh, you know, it worried me a little bit. Because uh, usually when they stumble like that, you know, it's hard to make up ground. But he's such an athletic horse, and he's not a, such a big horse. He was able to recuperate quick and, uh, you know, come down the track and run a big race for us.